about the setup they got going on up here ahead of me because I don't see any signs that say um, that this lane turns to the do it go straight or do it turn to the left I see this car in front of me have that turn signal on turning to the left so I'm assuming I'm assuming I'm able to turn to the left but either way I'm not getting my ass back on that interstate going straight ahead. I'm gonna make this left turn either way. You know, you gotta drive aggressive in Atlanta. That's one thing, you know, I delivered food up here for a long time. And you have to be real, you have to drive aggressive in Atlanta. Check in. 
and hopefully it'll be a quick in and out. So, they don't know what side I'm going in on. They don't know whether I'm going straight ahead or whether I'm going to the left right here. Two forklift guys over there making a call, calling somebody. So, I don't even see a dock. I don't even know where I'm a bag to, you know. It, it, it looks tight back there, honestly. It looks real tight. And I um, I mean, when I went on the inside, the girl was just like, go to my left over here. Um, if you look. Straight over there to the left, down in there. And I'm just not gonna pull anywhere without walking. But here he comes. He's been telling me where to go to right now. Okay, so you see it's a dock down here on the left hand side. Man, it's tight in here. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to back up out of here. Unless if I can't make a whole turn around the building. Which is looking like I can't make a turn around the building. This is what you deal with when you come to Atlanta, you know, the different places in Atlanta. But this is looking tight, especially with these trucks in the way down here. Um, okay, I see the dock over there. Okay. I'm gonna have to put some of this some of this professional driving to use right now because it's tight back here. Stand over, get over here. Oh yeah, it's tight. I'm glad I'm not an old classic. I used to drive a freight line, the classic. First time I was pulling containers. And I don't know how I could do it. If I was driving it, but let's get this thing turned around. But there's plenty of room though. As long as if I don't turn too sharp. Man, she's tight. This is the angle I'm at right here. Um, it should be pretty easy getting out come out pull up have to back up a couple times to make that but it should be pretty simple it's hot I think the hot here is supposed to be like 97 98 we did clean new edge over here nice looking ride Mach 1 oh my goodness I like that. She clean too. Oh my goodness. That's a pretty car. That is a nice car right there. I like that. Yes, sir. Got the scoop. Yeah, that's a pretty car right there. What's going on, man? Yep. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still a big fan of the New Edge Mustangs. I'm still a huge fan of them. I mean, one day my dream is to own a Mach 1 or a Cobra. They, they cost some money though. I got mine back into the garage right now. I'm about to start doing a little bit, about to start doing some more work on it. I had lost interest in it. And I had been looking around at the S197s, kind of looking at the prices. And unfortunately, everything just start, Y'all yeah, know how the economy going right now. So I'm gonna ride the new edge out until I can afford to get me something else. 
but yeah, I'm about to start doing a little bit of work on mine. I got mine back to the garage right now. About to do a little, little stuff here and there. Last thing we did to it, I did the whole front end on it. Um, and that been down months and months ago. I supposed to be, you know, when it got the front end aligned. I know lost interest in it. I got two brand new tires to go up front. Haven't put the tires on it. Um, got some music for it. Haven't put that in there. I just don't drive it no more. Well, I, the most I would drive it from my house down to Dollar General, which is probably about a mile away. But I just lost interest in it. But I'm in the, I back into the garage the other day, just trying to get some, trying to get interested in it again, you know. So we up here in Atlanta. We gonna hurry up and wait. When I get ready to go back, I think I'm gonna go back some of the side streets down past um, Mercedes-Benz Stadium and all that good stuff instead of going back out getting on 75, 85 because it's Friday and it's already backed up. So I think we're gonna go out and go down the back way. So let's hurry up and wait. It's Friday, baby. Let's have a good day. Okay, so we're done. And I lied as well. Cause I said I was going to go the back roads back down, but I just took a look at some of the surface streets and the way I want it to go. I don't know is the road closed or or what, but it is all red on Google Maps. So I think we're just going to get out here and catch this ATL Friday traffic. Downtown connector. It probably took them about 15 minutes. It wasn't bad. I would hate to come up, come up in here with a 53 footer or something like a, like I said earlier, a Freightliner Classic because it's tight up in here. Not saying this Century Class got the best turn radius, but it's way better than that old classic I used to drive. Even though I want me a classic, one day I'm gonna buy me a classic, or maybe a Coronado. I like I like the Coronados as well, but we know they, they, they hey they cost money, money that I don't want to pay. But one thing I know about semi trucks. All of them deliver freight, whether you paid a hundred thousand for them or whether you paid twenty thousand, like I did this truck. We're gonna get back here and close the doors and get back out here in this ATL traffic. Yep, it didn't take them long at all. This is Healy Brown in Atlanta off of Chatter Chattahoochee Avenue. Okay. I know they left some rope in here, but I ain't worried about it. Hey, I ain't got one. I'm not gonna turn it in. Sometimes the people at the port will say stuff about it, but sometimes they won't say nothing. Just depending on the person. Okay, so go back out here and get on the downtown connector. I think I already said that before, but I'm saying it again. I was just double checking to make sure I don't want to go back that way. But it's Friday, it's Friday. And people are out and about in the city. So the downtown connector got a lot of traffic on it. And Hudson Bridge Road South of Atlanta, down the stock bridge, it's backed up as well. So it's a Friday in the city. I will be in the road. I don't know what lane I need to be in, so I'm gonna take it easy coming up here. Either I can go left or right up here in 0.7 miles, so I'm gonna basically watch what Boat Manic do right here. See which way he go, but 
let's get on down here and see what's going on. Yeah, we definitely gonna name this video Inside 285. I ain't, I'm not gonna lie. I have been all through downtown Atlanta in a semi truck before. But however, it was a day cab. And of course I don't been out through downtown in my car. But I haven't been down here in a sleeper before. So I was just nervous, nervous as hell back there. Now I'm more familiar with Northside Drive. Since I don't made my way down here, I'm a little bit more comfortable with it. So I think I'm good. But back there, my my wife called me. And I just like, baby, I don't feel like talking right now. I don't want to run nowhere and it's a a, 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 a 12 6 bridge or something like that, you know, with this container. Yeah, in a day cab, it's easy to get turned around, but this container, it's a little bit tougher. But I know this area a little bit more back here. And we got a lot of construction going on up here. We got the right lane closed. So is this, is it this lane closed or is it that lane closed? But we're gonna make our way down here to I-20 and get on right there. get to do that one you know one weekend this year everything keep on going how it's going right now but yeah this is Mercedes Benz beautiful stadium on the inside beautiful stadium matter of fact Baltimore is coming down to play Jacksonville December 17th of this year in Jacksonville so I might be in Jacksonville the week I guess that you can say that's the week before Christmas I went down there last year to see them I put, put some more pictures up on the stream. But one game I want to go to is the Georgia Florida game that they have in Jacksonville. I, I hear everybody talk about it, but I still haven't went down there. And I love Jacksonville. So I don't know why. You see, I, it's, I know why I haven't went to one because they always play on the Saturday right now around Halloween and for the last couple years when I have been able to go my wife's mom I always have a Halloween party so I don't never think about the game because I'm always focused on the Halloween party it's no different this year all the boys talking about going to Jacksonville but I'm thinking about the my wife talking about the Halloween party playing the Halloween party but one year I'm gonna say screw this Halloween party and I'm going to Jacksonville with the boys and when I come from up there, well, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say that, but I'm going to Jacksonville though. But we're gonna come. 
come down here and let's see, Northside Drive, US 41. We're gonna catch I 20 down here. I don't know, this is a turn lane, 0.3. Let's see, is this where I'm supposed to turn it? Bada bing, bada boom. Let's see, 0.2. We're gonna get over. That sign is pointing. That sign is pointing to. It worked out for me. It worked out for me. 
everything going good like i say it's friday i hope y'all having a good day we're about to go get these kids off the bus enjoy our day i appreciate y'all for watching and i will see y'all in the next one thanks for watching don't forget like subscribe and comment on this video i see y'all in the next one